Right boys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Super Depot time, episode number four. Apologies, no video at the weekend. Just a little bit of burnout. Too much wine, too much beer, too much too much FM, too much recording, etc. So, sorry about that. I did say I didn't want to just force episodes, but this, I felt it was going to be really late. I didn't want to force an episode out. But I've saved it for today. We have got SD Huesca in the league. We are up top end but we can just tell that we're up there with all the big boys in the league so i think it's going to be a very very tight season i'm going to show you three guys that i've put on individual training regime i'll also show you a couple of tweaks to the tactic two changes one with the center forward again and one with a segundo volante and i think that's about it we'll recap a couple of games i'll show you um how we've got on etc so which players are performing well and that's about it make sure you subscribe like today's video, muchly appreciated. Let's get into Super Depot episode number four. Right, here we are. So we are up in fourth. Now we have got games in hand because we are cancelling our games in June. There's the league carries on during the international period, um, but we've got four or five that are getting called up. So I've just I called one game off earlier in the season, um, and then the squads for the October games have just been announced, um, and we've cancelled again. We did have Real Oviedo, but I thought we'll just play a midweek game. We don't want to miss, have four or five miss players missing. Um, you get a couple of play injuries as well. We could be struggling. There's no need to do it. So there we are, seven games played, six wins, one defeat. The one defeat as well came to was against SD, Pomford, them, basically. 3-2, um, this got a penalty early on, and then this got two absolute thunderbolts. Um, but apart from that, we've played really well. We've we've not been bang at it. I think the last game, actually, that I've just literally just played against Racing Santander, um, that was a really good, that was a really good performance. Um Dominant, not conceding too many chances, and then we were clinical down at the other end. So the form itself has been pretty good. We beat Malaga, who were obviously high there up in like second, so we beat them second game of the season, 3-1. Uh, uh, Soma, Montero, two set pieces, and then Santos getting a header. Uh, this is when he was playing as deep line forward. Agbo's got himself a couple of a couple of goals where he's got one there, he's got two there in the win against Mirandes, and he also scored there against uh, Lugo away from home. I have actually changed something of his role, which you'll, you may find a little bit odd, um, but I have changed it. Albacete, Bavu, Bavu, we'll call him Bavu, Bavu scored 80th minute penalty, but we played pretty well, and then Santander, we've just played, and we've Santos got himself a goal, tackling the goalkeeper. Bovu, again, a header and a brilliant strike. So we, the form has been good. We've now racked up four wins, as I said seven wins in eight. So I think that is a, sorry, is it six wins? Yeah, six wins in seven. Very positive start. We've got a quite a nice October. Um, I'm a little bit worried that the finances last month we lost. Last month we lost 900,000. Um so that is going to go down. We're going to literally be down to zero by the end of the season, which is a little bit of a worry. We do need to get out of this league as quick as we can and then have a couple of years in the league of just trying to survive and build up a little bit of money if we can. So the changes that I have made, Santos has gone back to a advanced forward. Now, I was to and fro in just a couple of games. Out. He has... He does contribute more and he gets a couple of passes. There'd be another sort of like half a dozen passes more playing deep line forward. But it wasn't it wasn't quite enough to really persuade me to to keep it. I did want someone leading the line. I did ideally want someone holding it up. But he just doesn't, as a deep line forward, he was dropping off a little bit too deep. And when the wingers sort of like staying wide remember we aren't playing with him inside forwards or anything like that we're playing with two out and out wingers it did mean at times he he dropped in and then the two center halves had no one to mark if shibaski is then dropped in himself to get the ball deep we've got no one occupying that box i thought right i'm just going to stick to it now we're going to keep him up front he won't get involved as much, but he's going to be leading the line for us. He'll now work the channel a little bit more than what he did playing as a deep line forward. Ideally, ideally, 
we'll get a better player in at some point. But to be fair to him, he's been one of our better players. He's already racked up five goals. He's scoring headers. He's scoring. He's hunting t- players down. He hunted the goalkeeper down in the last game and managed to score. So I'm I'm happy with him in that role. I think we just work with it. I think we're going to be good enough to get into the playoffs regardless of what role we have there. And ideally, I want I love to have a proper number nine there. I don't necessarily want him dropping him too much. It's not necessary now. I want him leading the line, working them channels. When we do break, when we do break, he does work the channels a little bit for us as well. And then that gives us the opportunity to counter that a little bit better. The other change that I've made is for the Segundo Valante Agbo. Um, I've got him shooting less, which affects his player traits. So I'm just monitoring how well he does play. He's getting in the box, which which is brilliant. He's getting in the box from those deep runs, which is, I suppose, 50% of what you want from a Segundo Valante, starting deep and getting in the box. He does like to shoot from distance. I just found one of one of the games. Let me just see if I can find it. Here we go. It was the 2-1 win. 2-1 win, two win over Mirandes. Agbo got two, right? But we had 21 long shots. 21 out of 37 long shots. That's weird. It's all right saying we got 37, but 21 of them were long shots. No clear-cut chances. He's getting into good areas, and he does score goals from distance, even though his finishing is pretty shocking. He has scored a couple of bangers. I imagine a lot of the shots as well. He's had six, eight... 11, 13, so a third, over a third of the chances went to just him playing as a defensive midfielder. And I imagine that all them outside the area look a little bit too much. Remember, we are trying to get, you know, involve the wingers a little bit. Um, His two goals, one did come from a late run, I think. Yeah, late run into the box, which was brilliant. And then obviously that that was an absolute, it was an absolute banger. But I just think for the tactic to grow, I can't rely on someone with six finishing to be able to bang goals in from 30-odd yards all the time. Like that is an absolute, absolute belter. But sometimes I just want him just to recycle it and go out wide and put let's put the ball out wide and then he can get himself in the box and score goals in these areas as well. All right, so there are the two tactical changes. Now, we've done a few little things to training. I was going to literally put everybody on individual training things. Um, But I've just decided to go with two. Three. Main reason is because the majority of these are going to be leaving. Now, what I might do is I think I might put Montero on one. Because there's a chance that we may may get him permanently or on, on another loan deal. He is young. He is developing. I am playing him as my ball playing centre back. So his passing's not great. So let's just have a little go. Improving his improving his passing. Now the other guys that we've got in doing stuff is Melello on loan. Once again, he's young. We may not get him back again, but I want him to develop. There's always an opportunity. I don't think he's going to be good enough for Atletico Madrid, so that means that he may be good enough for us. It may be a deal that we can do either another loan next year if he's good or even get inside him permanently, permanently if we have the money. So I've got him on strength because it's only at a 10. As I said, I wanted to keep stuff a little bit basic, um, you know, He's a winger who can cross and he can dribble. He's got decent acceleration, but his strength is quite poor. It'd be good if we just built him up a little bit. I did see passing as one. I was contemplating doing the stamina. Then I saw the strength and thought, yeah, we'll just we'll just build him up a little bit. Sadiq, I've got him on his strength as well because, as I said, he's a centre-half who we've now moved to right back. He is improving. Look, I thought, should we go with crossing? I thought, no, we need him to be big. We need him to be solid. Um you know, as a defender, I want that better than nine. His passing's not great, his crossing's not great, but that part of the game is not as much of an issue. I am looking at physicals more than technicals for the right back. Um, obviously, the technicals we're looking at tackling 15, marking 13, heading 13, so they're good. Crossing is kind of fourth choice in that in that list for me. Whereas I want him to be, I want him to be a lot stronger. He's 19. He's five foot eleven. He's nearly six foot. He should be more more strength than nine. 
And then the last one, Agbo, we've just put his finishing on. We've got him shooting. Uh, his long shots, even though he's scored a couple of worldies, his long shots early nine, he's finishing only six. He is on loan, but I think it's one player that I would love to have in the save, you know, if we got him for the next sort of like four or five years as we build up into a, a much better club, he will be a big part of that. He is La Liga standard, I think. So they're the chins that I've done. I've decided not to really do anyone else because, to be honest, coming to the end of the season, like, you know, there's players like Kolak that are doing pretty well. He's been out injured. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to improve them. I don't necessarily need, and a lot of them are not going to be here next year you know a lot are in the 30s a lot are not good enough there'll be a big probably change around in players regardless of what league we're in so um i thought we'll just we'll just do those four and it just makes it easy for me to monitor and keep my eye on the four rather than setting ones for all of them some of them that are not even kicking the ball and we're not really too asked about so that's the thinking behind that so that's literally everything i've not to be honest i've not I've I've now not wanting to change too much. I think we've had we've spoke about it a lot, like the tactic and tweaks that I made. I I just want to sit back and play a little bit, especially at the moment. I think that we're good enough as the tactic is. I think we there's not going to be that many changes. It'll be good just to see how it develops now over the next ten games without me having to change anything. So you know, as I said, there's a few big boys: Real Vallecano, Malaga, Zaragoza, us Sporting, and Las Palmas and Girona. All teams that have been up and down in La Liga over the last sort of like 10 years. Biggish clubs with probably similar ambitions to us. And I think, I think it was Girona that were the favourite. Yeah, we've now moved up to, no, Vallecano. Okay, so it's tight. They don't, they, to be honest, they don't really know. Huesca have just come down from La Liga as well, so, but they've not started too well. They're down in 16th. They're down in 16th. Right. A win, no, a win today is not going to take us top. A win today will take us joint top. Um, I don't think Keko is back fit. He can come in. Um, Kolak as four assists, four assists. Played the first two games and then got injured and has not been able to play since. He is fit. And I tell you what, we're going to bang him straight back in. Because we have, to be fair, Sibieski has done well. But we have missed... We have missed Kolak. And I think that's about it. We're all decent fitness. Um, Keko's just going to have to deal with a place on the bench because, to be fair, this guy's come in. Um, scored three goals. He's very quick, very direct. Cross is not great, but he's a handful on that right-hand side. And I've just ordered another Deportivo shirt as well. Got it off Depop. Classic, 15. 15 quid. Got it in. I think it's, like, from a couple of years old. But, um, yeah, another one added to the collection. Right. Ray, uh, Huesco obviously just come down. They've got Okazaki. Square, I remember him from somewhere. Uh, Insua. I'm sure he's familiar. Deportivo. <laughs> I'm sure he's Deportivo as well. Yes, he's Deportivo. So we've got a few Deportivo boys in here. I expect to win because we do. We're at home. We have got it on extended highlights as well. Here we go. Let's keep this run going, boys, please. And thank you to everybody. It's getting a yellow card already. Um, thank you to everybody that has been watching it. I said the first few videos now are up to sort of like over 600. The first video of the series as well is over 1,000. Um, so muchly appreciate that. I hope you like it. I am getting some really good... Sorry. Get some really good comments about just enjoying how how the series is and then how the series is compared to other ones. That I'm taking more time. I'm showing you a little bit more stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed the individual training regimes that I've kind of got on a few. Um, as the series grows and as the story grows and we get a few plays in that we're looking to, to keep for the foreseeable, they'll all have an individual training regime. But because I'd say 80% of these are probably going to go, are we going to get a goal here early on? But via... Oh. Um, I didn't see the point of it and it just gives me the opportunity as I said just to focus on those four for now and see how the individual training really helps them push on. Right, five minutes on the clock. They're going to get their first highlight. Must square, that's poor. Must cure, must square. Right, Sadiq. Kolak. Come out, come short for it. Nice little back heel from Sadiq. Cross. 
Latanios is underneath it. Agbo. Get out wide. Look, he'll make his little, little run in the box. Look. What is he holding? He's holding this time. But Villa's there and it's over the bar. He has scored a couple of goals in that area and around the penalty spot. One was a second ball. One was from a straight cross. So he is getting to really advanced areas. Right, Hosu. Sommer's done well. We've cleared. Half cleared. Not a bad clearance, that, to be fair, by Ruiz. Are we going to get it down? Come on, get it down. We have gonna... Ruiz. We clip Mahelo in. There's Santos drifting out wide. Look, we don't tend to get that deep line forward. Melelo strikes, but not on target. Just gives us that out, out ball a little bit. Will be better when we get someone a little bit faster. He is 31. And we want someone with a probably about 15 pace. Just to cause a little bit more of a problem um, when he works the channels. Oh, I thought Moelo was going to nick it then. Good press though, good press. Get it down. Okazaki's done very well to beat our centre after that because he's not the biggest, he's Okazaki. Right, don't let him get across in. Here he is, the ex Deportiva man. He's lost it. The crowd would have been loving that. Bouvier. Bouvier, Bouvier. Bloody hell. Comments down below. How would you pronounce his name? That'd be great. What's going on here? Oh, no, what's going on? I just thought... I just thought he was looking... Oh, penalty review? Nah. I just thought he was stood still and we were just going to nick the ball off him then. I don't think that was a penalty, was it? I didn't see anything. No, thanks. Thanks for that. VAR in the second tier. Right, here we go. Please tell me, football manager, right? Please tell me why you see the need to put my centre-halves on throw-ins. Just let your full-back, just let the full-back throw it. Right, let's get them two on. Right, here we go. Kolak. So annoying. Agbo. Oh, he's dribbled his shot. Still from distance, but he maybe just took that extra touch. He's still shooting. It's not It's not stopping him, that little um, personal instruction uh, change, player instruction change, hasn't really, uh, hopefully, affected him in a really negative way. Kolak Mahelo's there, straight at the goalkeeper. And we're up to 35 minutes, boys. We've had eight chances. Not a clear cut. I had a class that as a clear cut. Not even dominating possession. They've not had... It says they've had five efforts themselves, but we've not had anything. We're just going to ramp up the aggressiveness a little bit. We need to be... Especially while these are in great form at home. These are games that we need to be winning. Right, they're going to get their first highlight. No. Highlight over. Right, goal kick. Bovee has done well, but he can't get it down. He's gonna, we're going to get that back. Sadiq. Oh, he's gone long this time. Very long. Wasn't really necessary. We could we get a second ball in, boys. No, nope. we've we've backed off. We've allowed them to get it down. Gomez. They're going to get an overlap in here, boys. Right midfielder's not followed the left back. They're going to score. Good tackle. That was a good tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it was a penalty. It looked close. I think this is going to be a penalty, you know. Here he goes. Oh, he's not going to foul. Okay. Panic over. Come on, though, boys. We need a little bit more. Melano's injured. Okay, so we're going to go... Ooh. Merino. The most natural fit. Agbo's, Agbo's struggling as well, so... He's going to have to come off. Which is a shame. Kolak, Bavi, Kolak, good strike, good save. Right, 20 to go, come on boys, can we get a winner? Oh, that's a dodgy pass. Oh, I just thought we were going to be in there for a minute. Going to get it back down though, Sommer. Sweeps a long ball out to Bavir on that right hand side. Here he goes, can we get across him? We've got four in the box. Marinos, there's a substitute and he's headed it over the bar. Right, we need to do one last change. Let's get Santos off. Let's get Coney on. He can work the channels very well. He's got a little he's a little bit smaller, but very much direct, quick. 
has made a decent impact coming on as subs in the past. Well, after that convincing Santander game in the last game, come on, Ruiz. Why? Why is he taking a throw? Why is he taking a throw? Because I've put him fucking wrong way around, that's why. <laughs> oh dear. I've played Matty. We still might get a chance though. Come on, Ruiz. He's crossed it in. Oh, I have cleared. Get yourself back in this left back position. Are they going to break on us here? Gomez. Monteros. Swept up nicely. Ruiz is back in. Marino. Kolak. Nice little turn and run. Love it. Oh, that's crap. That is crap. Galan. Where's my left back? Get across. Montero again. Well done. What? Oh, this is doing me head in. I've not had, I've not had any of this, and then we've had three in this game. I wanted to do as well the Racing Santander game, but I hadn't played this game for about four four days. So I thought, right, I don't want to just dive in and record. I'll play a game offline first. No, I play a game offline first just to get used to it, and we absolutely romped home three 0 and then this game, oh no, so that's a penalty, isn't it? Fucking hell, Sadiq. Here we go, penalty, Lazau, the ex-Deportivo man. And he has put them 1-0 up. Oh dear. Right, I can't do a bloody change. Let's get the fullbacks, might as well get the fullbacks going a little bit higher. Let's get... Can Marino do a job up front for us? I think he can. Let's put Colock out there. He can just still play as a winger. Let's just go two advance forwards. Oh. Put him the wrong way as well. Right, six minutes of stoppage time. Batanios. Get it out wide. Get it out wide. He had an opportunity. We've got it out wide. Sadiq. Here he goes. Six crossing. What's he got? Corne is at the near post. Bavia's there. Oh, my God. What a chance. We've had chances again, so it's not as if we aren't creating. Kolak. Ruiz. We've got four in the middle, half cleared, and they're going to break. Ozak, Okazaki's by himself, but he's held it up well. Highlight over. Here we go, another highlight. Are they going to seal it? We've still got four minutes left. Here we go. We could be breaking on them here. Come on, Bavia. Good positive run. He's skipped past that tackle. He's gone him snow, he hasn't. That was a pass. He might shoot, shoot. Another. Another big chance. Colax corner. Never get a go never get a goal after. Bravia! Oh, he's pretty wide. I was just about to say you never get a highlight from a recycled corner. 30 seconds left. Last chance. Bravia. Out to Colak. Okazaki's oh, nicked it off him and that'll be the end. Oh dear. We've just not been able to score, boys. That's our problem. That's our problem. And they're just seeing the game out now. Okazaki oh, is in himself. Full time. 15 attempts. 50 attempts. No clear cut, but there was clear cut chance. There was big chances in there. Three halves, I suppose. That's maybe with where they've got that from. That's disappointing. Put them pleased. I kind of am pleased because we played we played well. We just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. And we've been punished with a penalty. Maybe I should have left hindsight. We leaving Santos on, maybe, because he's he's, he's our best finisher. It wasn't as if he was he was sloppy in front of goal. So we, so there we go. A one nil defeat. We're still in fourth. Three points off the lead now. I will be disappointed if we don't finish in that top two. Um, we so we have got the that little bit of a cushion where they only want playoffs, and I'd be absolutely devastated if we don't get playoffs. I don't want to look at transfers even in January. To be honest, I don't think we're going to have money to spend in January. I'd rather save whatever we have for the summer, regardless of what division we're in. I'm going to try and get through the next sort of like run of games, and maybe come back there. Um, for maybe Girona or Zaragoza, somewhere maybe in there. So we've got a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, a good run of nine, ten games really sets us up for the season and see where we are at. 
And that is it, boys. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry, no win. Sorry, it was just a 1 0. They've basically nicked it. But it's kind of coming together. I'm kind of happy with how we're playing. We just did a bloody score, did we? So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Lots of stuff on the channel this week. All the other series are going on as usual. Videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Two videos on Sunday. And I think I will be live streaming the Fenerbahce save on Thursday night. So check that out. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and when a video goes live. Next one of this is Sunday morning, 8am. Cheers, boys. Thank you very much. See you later.